Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rezio and today I'm going to show a small Timu painting unboxing. <laughs> it's my last sent to one painting and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, and if you can like it, subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. Mm -hmm. So, this is, as I stated probably in some of my videos before, I had three Santa ones that I purchased during Lightning Deal. This this is my last one. This one uh, is a little special. I specifically bought it for an event for next year, actually next January. And a, sorry, the event is called Designer Dragons by Diamonds and Stuff. And I, she had announced it, ooh, probably a month ago that she was going to have an event in January. And she, you could already kind of register already. She puts you in the list. So I asked if I could do it and it just had to be a canvas with a dragon. I don't own any canvases with dragons. <laughs> I'm being honest. I really kind of don't. Not that I don't like them. It's just I never really. Most, as some of y'all have seen, most of my paintings have flowers. So that's what I gear towards. <laughs> <laughs> so I, when I wanted to do this, I wanted to really do this event, I figured, ooh, this is my chance to actually have my first dragon painting. So, of course, I went with good, trusty, scented one. And it's such a gorgeous painting, and I fell in love when I saw it. And I sent her all the information about it. She was okay with it. So this painting, I'm happy to say I can use it for the event. And scented one, if you've never purchased any of their paintings, they are sold through Timu, but it's not, uh, It's kind, it kind of reminds me of, well, when you purchase, let's say, from Amazon. It's sold through the company, but it's the maker that owns the item. Hopefully it makes sense. <laughs> so Center One is their own line. And I really love when they deliver their paintings. They always come in a sturdy plastic bag that's resealable, which I'm a big fan of because you can put any of your items or the painting away once you've completed it or when you're going to start it. <laughs> so it includes the painting, the diamond, and the toolkit. And the toolkit comes in this really, really neato little canvas bag. It kind of reminds me of linen, but I don't believe that's what it is. I'm going to put it aside real quick. And it has the name of their brand. I really love these bags. They're really big, really sturdy, and don't hold anything if, you know, you do not decide to use the tool kit or put your own items in it. The bag is really sturdy. I'm holding everything. So their tool kit is pretty standard. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in it. And it's a drawstring bag, which I'm a big fan of. <laughs> and let me just put it aside real quick. It comes with two pens, which are just your standard pens. And one has a three multi-placer. And the neato thing about their tool kit, they have different multi-placers. Let me pull them aside because they're kind of small. And the tweezers are getting stuck again. There we go. And air three, sorry. Yeah, three multi-placers, one standard three. And two of them are curved, as you can probably see. Let me see if I can get that on camera. This is a three-placer that's a little curved. It's supposed to be a little easier when you place if you can kind of place it at an angle i tried one before it's pretty neat but it's not my style and if you prefer curved it does come with them and it comes with a six multi-placer that's also curved as well as you can see that's really it is kind of neat i don't like that and it comes with oh apologies it's four multi-placers it comes with a nine i don't know why i thought this was a straightener <laughs> same thing it's curved but it's just a larger multi-placer kind of like that they include all of that the two standard pens and it does fit in them and they do fit if standard pens aren't your style they do fit in just any kind of regular well any kind of pen i do have some custom pens and they fit with no issues so i have no problems with them I really do i really do like the idea of it and it does come with your little sturdy grip that you would just slide into the pen and you can be using for several kind of hours that we all do when we diamond paint <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest, I do. I, I'm I am not gonna lie to y'all. And it is really comfortable. Every now and then I'll use a standard pen. They really do work well. Comes with some blunt tweezers. Still just be careful because they still are a little bit pointy. Has a little bind to kind of help them close. So you can kind of put them away and don't worry about 
in the case the tweezers kind of get you know attached to anything i really do like these they're really good at and they do pick up the diamonds really well i really like them and it comes with your wax i love this purple wax and i still use a lot of wax <laughs> and i usually use a purple and a blue and the reason i use it is when you place the diamonds it'll dry clear so you i never seen it left over on the diamonds Maybe because it stays clear. <laughs> I'm sorry, it dries clear. I really do love this wax. And your your standard tray. Well, kind of standard. <laughs> I do like these trays. They're kind of small. And you can pour your diamonds in and it lines up really well. And when you are done, you can actually pour them through a spout that's here in the corner. As you can see, and you can just pour them out. Change the color when you need to. I really do like this tray. And give me one moment. I need to sneeze real quick. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to take a sip of my tea as well. <laughs> so let me just put everything back into the tool kit. I really don't want to sneeze and record it. I, I sneeze really loud, so I do not want to, you know, affect anyone's hearing when I sneeze. <laughs> and let me just make sure everything's off. And there we go. Just reseal it. And you're good. You can put it aside and use the kit when you need it. And these are the diamonds. This painting is a square. And this, my last few center ones were rounds. This is the first time I actually, actually seen, ooh, sorry about the wording. <laughs> I've actually seen squares and I really love them. I love the colors of this painting. I love the minty green. Ooh, I love that color. Before that, let's get to the painting. So they always have their paintings rolled up in a foam roller. That's why it's in the shape. Really do love the foam rollers. They're really good at, you know, Helping your painting rolling up with no creases. I always forget there's a tape that's on the ends. So let me get my scissors real quick and cut it. And I get really nervous when I do that. <laughs> so let me see if I can kind of ooh, be careful a bit. There we go. And it's not on the painting. Do not worry. The tape is actually on the plastic covering of the painting so in case you're wondering oh did they tape it on the canvas no they, they tape it on the plastic just in case you're a little worried about that and there we go you can just pop them off it's really sturdy tape too so it really keeps the canvas really rolled up so you just unroll it as you can see the little foam roller i do love these sizes they're kind of perfect especially if you're just rolling a little section it's really really handles any even with paintings with diamonds on them which i really love these little rollers so i got a little close to the microphone and it does stay a little curled up you can always just roll it back the opposite way and it'll, it'll kind of ease it a bit i did notice that the first time i opened one of their canvases they're not sturdy they're really soft and i they do keep the shape once you've already kind of stretched it out a bit and i really do love the canvases they're really soft as you can probably hear and they're really velvety and i really like them the edges are scalloped and punched really lightly and that's really to help the ends of the painting from not fraying i found that out and i really love just a little scallop effect and this is the painting i said it's a wonderful blue dragon that's looking to a side kind of giving us that little sassy look <laughs> and the tail and everything is wrapped up in the back i fell in love first of all it's blue it's a whole bunch of blue and I just love the way the image looked and it kind of has this little ethereal kind of effect surrounding the dragon with the light behind it as you can see I'm just leaving the canvas alone it's already settling and there are no creases uh, the little bumps you see are from the plastic that's on top of the canvas that if you lift it up and I forgot about the tape <laughs> sorry about that let me remove the tape real quick because it's still trying to hold onto the canvas. Let me throw that away real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And as you can see, it has a real, and it does, it's a really sturdy plastic. As you can see, the painting's not creased, and the stick is really good. All right, let me press it a little harder. Oh, lost my fingerprint. <laughs> so, and as you can see, the creases went away. It's just a plastic that's doing that effect. It's okay, I'll lift it and kind of ease it off a bit. The canvas on top has the name of the company, Santa One up here with their little logo. And on the top right and lower left are legends of the diamonds. There are 35 diamonds to this painting. I love when they do that, when they put one on one corner and on the other. Because I've probably said before, I spin my paintings when I'm, when I'm painting. It's just for me, it's a little bit easier that way. And for some information about the, uh, the painting, the canvas size is a 40 by 40 or 15.7 by 15.7 inches. The, sorry, the diamonds are 35 and includes three ABs. I've seen every one of my center ones have ABs. I don't know if that's their style, but I love that they include them. And I'll make sure to show them in a moment. And this painting, it's considered a pro level because it contains 18,769 diamonds. I love that they include the number because I've been with a lot of my paintings I've been completing. I do say I save the numbers of, in theory, the numbers of diamonds that I've placed on the painting. <laughs> I really do like that. I just, I, I love numbers. I just love math. And so I want to see what my total is at the end of the year. Because I've been trying to, you know, complete a lot of my paintings as soon as I can. And at the lower left is just the barcode, which I believe they use when they're doing inventory. You can disregard that. It's unless, you know, unless you have a scanning gun. <laughs> my apologies. I don't think that's what it's called anymore. But a scanner. I'll call it a scanner. Sorry. Back in the day, they used to be called that. Ooh, I just kind of aged myself. <laughs> so I really, really love this canvas now that I see it in person. And as I said, I'm not doing anything. It's actually settling more. The ends aren't really creasing up. They're kind of easing off. And it is a sturdy canvas, as you can hear. It looks real kind of, it looks like it'd be a little flimsy. It's not. It's really sturdy. And it's really soft. And I really, really do love that. So I'm leave the painting here so we can look at its wonderful, wonderful design. Let's check out the diamond. So the thing with the legend of this painting, it does not state any kind of special kind of lettering that there's an AB. It bases it off of the DMC number, which I really do appreciate that because I do everything by DMC number. <laughs> and as you can see, the diamonds are already kitted up, meaning they're already all organized and separated, and they're in numerical order based off of the legend. I really do appreciate that. But I do not use refillable bags, but I know that I won't have to have, you know, a lot of trash to throw away because I still use the bags for other projects or any other things that need to hold. So I do appreciate that. But if this is your style, you're good to go. You just open and start painting automatically. Rosie, not so much. I make it more difficult. <laughs> and apologies for the crinkly noise. I'm opening the packet real quick. And it's a real sturdy packet that's glued. Since I saw one of the ABs, which I believe is 3865, yes, I'm right, our lovely little white. There are three ABs, so I need to find two more of them. And, excuse me, one moment. Sorry about that. I thought a plane was going to pass by. It kind of did, but it sounds like a U-turn. <laughs> then it gave me a chance to drink some uh, sip of tea real quick. So I think I found the second EB. Yeah, it's this wonderful blue. I really like that. And the third EB. It feels like a present. It's going to be a surprise because I don't know which is the EB. I think it's this purple. And all of their diamonds are really, really shiny. So that's why I have to double check if there's an EB effect on it. They are. You can see all of the wonderful diamonds, all of the wonderful colors. I, As I said, I love them in green. Oh my goodness, I really love these diamonds. They're so, so pretty. I cannot wait to open up these darkest paintings. But I have to wait till camera. <laughs> so the diamonds, excuse me, the four diamonds that are AB is this wonderful little soft violet color. As you can see, the shine on it. I really do love their ABs. Their rounds also are really, really bright with their ABs. 
I'm a big fan of that. This is the nice little kind of pastel blue. Oh, this is so pretty. I really like that. And our wonderful white. For $38.65, I always love this color when it's in AB. Because you always catch the wonderful effect on it, as you can see. So let's kind of see where these wonderful little diamonds go. So number four, which is indicated here, which is a number four in the legend. Oh, my apologies. The legend is in order. So from numbers one through eight, they're in numeric order, meaning one is one, two is two. From nine all the way to 27, they're in alphabetical order and they're capitalized, capitalized letters. So they're in A, C, F and all of that kind of order. I'm sorry, A, C, D, F. Yeah, I know, they skip the B. Sometimes they do that. <laughs> and from 28 to 35, there's symbols. So there's, for example, there's the pound sign or hashtag, a question mark, and all of those just kind of standard symbols. I love when they're organized that way because whenever you're looking for a symbol, you can see, ooh, real quick, grab it real quick, and you're on your way. I really do love when legends are in that style. Mm -mm, excuse me. So back to the ABs. I just wanted to mention that. Apologies, I forgot to say that. Number four is number four, which is this wonderful purple. And it's here, it's kind of, I believe it's like a shadow effect. It's here on the base neck of the dragon. You can see it here kind of causing a little shadow effect. It's here in this section and here in the little base where all of its little, I believe it's, I want to say crown, but I'm not too sure if that's the term for it. At the back of its head, as you can see here, they're all this wonderful purple. It's kind of sporadic. They're kind of all over the place. There's some down here. Yeah, it's kind of part of the shadow effect. Ooh, that's going to be real sparkly. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for number two, our wonderful symbol is a U. <laughs> Sorry, I like that. Which is... Since the whole painting is pretty much blue, anywhere that you see kind of like a... It makes me think of the sea blue. I love calling it that. An ocean blue. That's what I usually call this color. It's highlighted here in this base part of the sky. Also, I believe it might be on the dragon as well. I'm double checking to see if it is. Yes, it is. It's at, the, at its forehead. This wonderful AB would be here. Here at the bottom, some parts here in the background with the sky. Oh my goodness, it's, as again, it's kind of all over the place. I really love that. Whew, I cannot, I cannot wait to see all the sparkle on this painting. And our lovely 35. And there's a reason why the packet is a little big. Anything you see white, that's what this color is. And the symbol for it is the left parentheses, which is the little whoop. <laughs> and it's anything with the white. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's any section here, here at the base of the neck, here all over in the back. So anywhere that's leading, I'm going to say it's hair, but that's not what it is. <laughs> Anything leading from the back, you can see it's this wonderful AB. Oh my goodness, this painting is going to be sparkly all over the place. The diamonds are really, real sparkly. Let's add some more with the ABs. <laughs> oh my goodness, this goes look so pretty. It's all here on top as well and there's some random spots in the sky i believe that's why this packet is so this sorry this color is so large and i believe from all the diamonds oh the little peachy color is also large as well and this cut co that color is pretty sporadic as well and it's highlighted here on top anything kind of soft pink tone is all here at the top i believe it's a light that's highlighting behind the dragon Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to do this painting. And sorry, I changed my voice. <laughs> I'm just really, really excited about it. And it's so pretty. It's so cute. It's so elegant. And when I first saw it, I knew it had to be my first dragon painting. And there's a small image in the lower right corner. Apologies, I forgot to, to say that. Which I really love because sometimes I compare when I'm painting. If I feel the color is a little off. It's real small, but I actually can see it pretty well. So I just make sure to confirm. I really do love that they include that. So that's all I wanted to show today. And as I said, this uh, this painting is for an event called Diamond Designer Dragons. Apologies. And the channel that's hosting it is Miss Wendy from Diamonds and Stuff. Uh, check out her channel. She has a lot of neat videos and especially she has more information about the event if maybe you might be interested in january she tried this event as well 
<clears throat> and all the information about the painting and for her channel as well, I'll put in the description below. Just in case you're curious and doing any kind of, or if you have a dragon canvas you've been thinking of putting up and have it wonderfully on your wall. <laughs> and again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, all I ask is if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. Really helps put my channel out there and it really allows me the opportunity to show everyone all of these wonderful diamond paintings we love to do. <laughs> and again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.